Tetra Pak was previously not recyclable, which meant that it automatically went into the landfill. Tetra Pak is a supplier of packaging on a global basis. We supply packaging to about 170 countries uh, globally. According to our figures, approximately 70,000 tons of uh, liquid packaging is uh, produced and sent into the market on an annual basis. And as part of our responsibility, it's not only about supplying product uh, to the marketplace, we've got to ensure that at end of life we have recycling solutions for our cartons. The paperboard is 100% uh, virgin paperboard. It's all FSC certified, so we source our paperboard responsibly from responsibly managed uh, forests. Tetra Pak is a slightly different product uh, because it is a foil and, and polyethylene layered um, paper and that's why it can't be recycled at many other plants and it requires a specific process which we've now implemented at Impact in Springs. Which gives us the capability to extract fibre from Tetra Pak and use it in our board making process. Um, at the moment uh, we receive a lot of material through pre and post consumer sources and the emphasis is going to be on collecting more from post consumer um, from areas such as houses, from our curbside collections and also from buyback centres and dealers across the country. I'm Jean Yuster, part of the Keep Hillcrest Beautiful Association. Part of our organisation is to run this recycle centre. We've been servicing the centre right from the inception of the project up until now. We've been collecting cardboard and paper originally, but we have recently launched the Tetra Pak as well as the plastic collection project. Since we started, the cardboard and the paper has almost doubled. I foresee the same thing happening with the Tetra Pak. It's early days as far as Tetra Pak is concerned, but we hope to advertise more and let the public know that it is now being collected here. We're down here at the Lynbro Park landfill. The bags that you see behind me come from municipal waste collection. These come from households and are sorted by, by pick it up municipal employees who then sell on graded sorted products. Given that we now have created a market for it, it means that there's an extra stream of income. 200 people have jobs because of recycling and we are very happy to have impact company. We have an existing curbside collection program where we use the Ronnie Green paper bags and the liquid cartons will be included in this. So the emphasis will be to grow this project uh, throughout all the areas that we can, which will add to collecting more material through this stream. So as it comes here, the waste or liquid packaging, because now it's going to be part of a bigger variety of uh, recyclable through our, our systems. We're going to have to sort it into all the various grades as we have them, bale it and send it to our plant for recycling. This is a state-of-the-art plant. It's very new in the South African recycling industry, so where there were many products that previously couldn't be recycled, now there's an opportunity. So the plant is designed uh, to, to handle about 25,000 tons of liquid packaging, post and pre-consumer. And I think after processing, we'll be able to get out about 18,000 tons of uh, fibre from that. The system works automatically to add the bells and water into the pulper, and that runs on a sequence as well. That pops out the poly L and the, and the foil out of the, the fibre, and then it gets separated into two streams. The first stream is the main stream for the fibre. That stream the fibre gets stored and then it gets uh, screened. And screening it just removes some of the extra plastics that's in it. And then the fibre gets blended with some of our recovered fibre. Now with Tetra Pak coming in, which is a whole lot of long fibre, to actually uh, help out with, with, with the short fibres that is created in the mill, uh, to get us, give us better strength on, on the machine. For us, there's value in recovering fibre then from products that wasn't previously recycled. And this is what happens to the recycled fibre. From the mill it's supplied to us in big reels. We then put it through our processes and our machines. We make corrugated cartons and other corrugated products from this. We produce approximately 30,000 tonnes of corrugated products for various end users and we make use of predominantly recycled uh, papers from our impact mills. The current recycling rate is about 15%, so of the 50, just 55,000 tons that is available in the marketplace, we've been able to recycle just over 8,000 tons to date. 
So by, by recycling or through the impact initiative to recycle, we, we can save that, that landfall space. Uh, we see waste as, as an opportunity to add value to people's lives. So the fact that there is a demand for this type of waste through the facility that Impact has now means that cartons will no longer be seen as a waste going purely into landfill. Uh, there will be a lot of jobs being created downstream and it's really up, up to us to actually facilitate that and create awareness about that, that cartons can be recycled. And uh, yes, we feel fantastic about the fact that it's adding value and changing lives downstream. Uh, I think I'm very proud of to be, to be part of this project, to be part of Impact. I think it's what we, we strive for, you know, it's, uh, it's good to have to work for a company that's got good values, is striving to make the country a better place.